What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we're gonna to be talking about getting out of that funk you might be in and getting back out there and being creative. So let's go do that. What's up, you guys? Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate you. Um, today, we're gonna to be talking about how to get inspired, how to get out of a funk that you might possibly be in. Um, I know that I was in one for a couple of weeks there and yeah, I just wasn't feeling creative, wasn't feeling you know productive, all that stuff. We've all been through that. Um, some people call it writer's block. Some people call it, I don't know, anything really that just stops you from creating. Um, how do you get out of that? I know I have my certain methods. Everybody kind of has their way. Um, but Eric is going to be talking to you today about his way of getting out of creative ruts. And so hopefully you can take some of that information, apply it to your own lives and kind of get you out of that funky thing that you might be in right now. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully it helps inspire you. Hopefully it gets you back out there to create. All right. So let's go check out Eric. Eric, all yours. Uh, morning. This is Eric Figgy with uh, Run 7 Entertainment. Um, if you want, I want to wonder why I'm breathing so hard is I'm halfway through my run right now. And I'm here today to talk to you about inspiration and inspiration in writing specifically um, a lot of times when you get stuck on at least when I get stuck on writing I go for a run to sort through story to sort through characters to sort through just the stresses of writing um, and to help you get through those those I don't really believe in writer's block but those moments where you kind of stop and, and question what you're working on and how good it is and everything and Usually it's more beautiful out here and there's a sunrise in the background, but this is where I come for inspiration. Besides inspiration with my family, um, and it's not just inspiration, like I'd said, in writing. It's, it's inspiration and if you're lucky enough to get to the point where a production company or a producer wants to develop your show, it's that long journey of going through that. I can talk to one of Ronan Seven's projects that's been in development for almost three years now. And the person that we based it on uh, passed away a couple weeks ago. Um, it was always our fear that we wouldn't even get a chance to pitch this project to buyers like Apple or Netflix or Hulu or Amazon before he passed away. He lived in a nursing home and was in hospice care this last year. And it happened. Um, and it's extremely depressing and crushing to be honest to be three years into this thing and to not even have a single pitch meeting for our project um but uh, we were gonna supposedly have meetings and then the coronavirus happened um so hopefully we can have zoom meetings for our project because it's been a long journey and i go back to inspiration and it's more than just inspiration it's fortitude and perseverance is what gets you through writing more than just inspiration, honestly, is just keep on doing what you're doing, keep on writing, keep on believing in what you're doing. Um, take criticism, but take it with a grain of salt because you know you're writing better than anybody. Um, and find places like this, if you can, uh, to recharge, to re-spark, to rekindle. I literally stand up on these stones here in a circle and walk around once, kind of like, what is it, baseball players or somebody that basically wears the socks the entire season. I come out here and I walk around this thing one time. I can't tell you how many times I've been out here at different moments in our development project for our TV show. Looking out over that with the state capital of Wisconsin in the background and the sun rising over the lakes going, yep, this is it. This is the day that someone says, yes, this is the day that we finally get to have a pitch to somebody that can hopefully buy our show. Um, and I, we've had a lot of those days and it's just fortitude, perseverance, faith, and hope that will get you through those times and an amazing support team if, you can, if you're lucky enough to have it. Like I have with my writing partner, Perry, with our entire crew of folks that support us and with my family. So find all those, find all those things and keep on persevering, keep on doing what you're doing and believe in yourself and what you're writing. That's all I got, and it's really cold out here. It might snow soon. Bye. Thanks, Eric, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, so it's hard sometimes, you know? It's hard getting out 
of a funk that you might have been in for quite some time. Um, but at the end of the day, just the act of doing, of just whatever that might be um, in your world, can change your whole perspective. It can change your whole attitude, your whole emotional state. Just going out there and doing, forcing yourself to go and do something. Um, whether it be taking photos or video or whatever the case may be, just getting out there to do something. Might not be a specific project. Um, you know, it might not be anything. You might just be with you with your phone out there just doing something creative. Um, that can help. That can definitely help. I know it's helped me. I've been there where I've just, you know, couldn't get myself to be productive and be creative and put together our videos for this channel and just, you know, different things that are just going through lots of people's minds, you know, just, you know, having to deal with all kinds of stuff, but forcing myself to go and just do it, um, has helped tremendously. I've, uh, I've gotten myself out of several funks, to be honest with you, during this whole ordeal with COVID-19 by just acting, you know, acting on something, whether that, it, whatever that might've looked like, just going out and doing something has helped. So that's my advice to you. Um, Eric brings up a lot of great points on, on how to how to help yourself out. Um, but at the end of the day too, just go out there, do something, see what happens. Um, it can't hurt, <laughs> it can only help, right? Only place to go is up at that point. So just please take care of yourselves, mentally, physically, all that stuff. Uh, watch out for one another and we will definitely see you in another video. All right, catch you guys later. See ya.